Tiffany and I, on the way home, the whole family, we were coming from Tacoma back here to Bellingham the day after Christmas. And, uh, and there, our friends of ours, uh, their six-month-old was at Mary Bridge Hospital. So we thought, we'll go and stop by there. Well, I've been to Tacoma and lived in Federal Way, which is right next to it, but we had entered into Tacoma in this weird way, and so I was lost. I had no clue how to get to Mary Bridge Hospital. I just didn't know. It was, everything was foreign to me. So I'm entering into uncharted waters. So you know what I do? I get my, my GPS, and I look it up on the internet, boom, directions, it speaks to me now, and you know, it's cool. And so I'm diligently just driving and looking at my GPS, and it says, in two blocks, make a ride on 45th. And so I'm 42nd, 42nd, okay, there's 45th. And then I'm following it, and then the bubble moves. And, and then it says, 0. 0.6 miles, make a left on I Street. And I'm driving, I'm like, okay, okay, I, I got it. And I'm following this thing. And then all of a sudden, Tiffany says, I see Mary Bridge. I'm like, where? She says, I see it, it's right there. She points to, the, to this sky rise that has a big M on the side of it. And I'm like, uh... I don't think that that's Mary Bridge because I'm supposed to go up and to the left and that's over there. And, and she's like, no, that's Mary Bridge. That's Mary Bridge. And I'm like, but this says this. And all of a sudden my kids get involved. <laughs> Dad, that's Mary Bridge. Mom sees Mary Bridge. I've got this cacophony of voices bah, screaming at me. And I'm like, wait a minute. No, no, this. And so I have a choice. What do I do? Do I trust the GPS or do I trust my wife and all these voices. So I do what seemingly seems like the right thing to do, and I put this thing down. And so I make it, and we hang a ride. I hang a ride, and we pull in front of this building with the M on it. And I thought, hmm, Hotel Murano. And Tiffany looks at me, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> recalculating, recalculating. Then it says, don't listen to your wife. You know. No, it didn't say that. <laughs> but that's how it is with us and the Lord sometimes. There is a cacophony of voices screaming and competing with God's <coughs> voice. Wow. There is. And it drowns out what God says in his word. And we have to choose whether or not to listen to what's coming at us or to what God speaks to us through his word.